Let's get a check on the weather now with Peter Cockcroft. And Peter, it does still ve feel very cold indeed. That's because it is very cold, <laughs> Victoria. Cold enough for snow. And some of us are going to see some more significant snowfall before the week's through. More of that in a moment. Let's concentrate on the cold, first of all. We've got rather cloudy skies. There's a bit of wind blowing as well. Temperatures around about zero at the moment but if you add in the chill effect of the wind well it feels more like minus four or minus five out there so uh, the afternoon is going to feel bitterly cold and any ice is not going to go away a few more of those tiny snowflakes around you may have experienced a few of those earlier today there might be a few more a little bit later on and then overnight tonight we will have another widespread frost it won't be as severe as last night it won't be quite as cold as last night but uh, again even temperatures in central london will get below freezing so tomorrow a rather gray cold day again but probably not feeling quite as cold as today temperatures not quite as low and the wind not quite as strong either and then it's after dark that interesting things start to happen yes that's snow behind me if i just move out of the way you can see the computer is indicating that the heaviest snowfall is likely to be just to the west of london and the uh, met office has issued an early warning for that that's not to say we won't see some snow in central London, but it'll tend to fizzle out as it gets into the capital. May not get as far as Essex and Kent, but of course, all that could change. So you might want to keep an eye on the forecast if you're planning to get away for the half-term holiday, Victoria. Well done, Peter. Thank you.